The natural track losers hold the second stop of their World Cup in Austria, or to be more precise, in Winterleiten, Styria. Who will be able to repeat their performance from the recent season opener in Kutai, Austria? Will we see an upset, a changing of the guard? The athletes compete on the Winterleiten track, which is 1,033 meters long and has a lot to offer, as local hero Christian Schopf explains. So, let's do a camera ride on my home track, the Winterleiten. The start area is quite flat, so you have to speed up and gain momentum with your spiked gloves. You have to try and make perfect use of your spike gloves and then carry speed into the first straight. We have eight sharp turns in total. Most of them are 90 degrees. The first corner is coming up. We have to maintain a lot of speed into the turn in order to be able to accelerate later. First corner, then second corner, then I haven't got much time. I have to break a bit. This is the sharpest turn. You really have to work hard in this third corner in order to come through in the racing line. Now it's going to happen one by one. There's the fourth corner, and we'll try to accelerate. The fifth turn, a short break. We have to ride it tightly and try to accelerate again quickly. The sixth turn is extremely important as it's very flat. You can carry speed to the first long straight before you reach the seventh turn. Another short break. This is one of the key turns on the track. You try to maintain speed into the combination and the long straight before the turn. It's very interesting to find the perfect material for this track because it's very cold. Now we're reaching the final turn with speeds between 60 and 70 kilometers per hour. We'll give everything here in the final turn and then hope we'll have a fast time across the finish line that allows us to celebrate. Traditionally, the first decision of the weekend is made in the doubles. Last year, the Italian duo Pigneta and Clara dominated this discipline. But at the beginning of the season, they were defeated by the Austrians Brugler Angre. Can the Austrians now build on this performance? Or will someone else cause an upset on the Winterleiten track? Here are the results from the first run in the overview. After the first run, Pignetta Clara, the 2018 overall World Cup winners in the doubles, are in the lead. Surprisingly, in second place, the newcomers, the Lambaca brothers from Italy, are ahead of Igorov Popov from Russia. With three teams in the top six, the results from the Russians is impressive. In their final run, Kovshik Tarasov will start from sixth place. They were able to secure fifth place at the European Championships in Winterleiten last year. A top five placement also appears feasible for them this year. The two already managed to have two consistent runs in the training. They gained the necessary speed, especially at the start, and were able to catch the first corners well, which is very important on this track. Their second run also looks very solid so far. They've again got a good start on track. Their time in the second run is apparently better than in the first, and this looks very good for them. After two runs, the clock stops at 2 minutes, 34 seconds, 48 hundredths. Let's see what this will mean for them in the end. Sixth place is for sure safe for them no matter what. It mainly depends on these two gentlemen, Austrians Rupert Brugler and Tobias Angerer, and what this time will be worth. They go into this final run with a disadvantage, however, as Tobias Angerer suffered a lumbago just before the first round. Nevertheless, the reigning world champions scored a fantastic start in the first run and finished fifth overall. But their weakness in the first run here was the lower section of the track. What can the two achieve despite Angerer's lower back issues? In the first race at Kutai, they were the clear winners, but today it's more difficult for them. Their start on the second run was not as good as in the first, and the Austrians again lose time on the track, falling back behind the Russians' Kovshik Tarasov. Can they catch up? No, they can't. Brugler Angre finished with the total time of 2.34.57, thus they are ranked just behind the Russians now. They were third at the European Championship 2018 at Winterleiten, the Russians Igorov and Popov. At the season opener in Kutai, the veterans finished fourth just behind their team rivals Parshnev Lazarev. 
A similar picture is emerging today. The Russians with solid runs, but without any highlights. Their start is a bit better, but they can't bring their sled down cleanly on the track. It rumbles here and it rumbles there, and the Russians lose time compared to their first race. They are able to maintain their position, but attacking their teammates Porshnev Lazarev is difficult as they are leading by 56 hundredths of a second. Igorov Popov finished with a total time of 2.34.41. They'll be fourth at the very worst. Russians Porshnev Lazarev go into the decisive run in third place. In the first race of the year at Kutai, the two got fourth behind their compatriots. Here at Vintelighten, the podium is now within reach for them. If they manage to get their luge on the track as confidently as they did in the training runs and in the first round of the competition, they should be able to take a podium spot. As usual, the start of the two Russians is not the fastest. Instead, they are winning the important split seconds on track. They constantly get better on the way down. This is admirable considering that so many people say that the start is incredibly important here and a key point. But if Porshnev Lazarev are on the track, they quickly find the perfect rhythm. The two even have the fastest time at the split. At the finish, they clearly defend their position with a total time of 2.32.39. Third place is the worst they will get today. These newcomers are the dark horses of this winter, the Lambaca brothers from Italy. In Kutai, they were able to finish strong in the top six. And remember, this is their first winter on the natural track. Now in Vintelighten, this could be their first coup, their first podium placing. The duo was only fifth place after two consistent runs. In the first round, they started working on the upset. After a mixed start, they succeeded in almost everything after the first third of the track. Their luge flowed perfectly on track, and the cooperation between the two Italians was simply excellent. A similar picture in the final run now. A weak start followed by an extremely good run. They maintain their lead, find their way into the race, and deliver at top split times. At the finish line, they defend their second place and secure their first podium place of the winter with a total time of 2.32.30. Last men standing at the start gate are the 2018 overall World Cup winners, Pigneta Clara. They're used to being the final team to enter the track. This is routine for them. Last winter, the two won the European Championships on this Winterlighten track, and this year the Italians also flexed their muscle in the training. They were the only ones to stay under 1 minute 16 seconds in both training runs and in the first competition run, a declaration of war on their opponents. They have to be satisfied with second place in Kutai, but today all signs are pointing to victory. And they follow the perfect first run with a final run that couldn't be better. Top times in almost all sections. This can only mean one thing, the first World Cup victory of the season for them. If they don't make any more mistakes, they will claim victory in the end. And yes, they are the winners with a total time of 2.31.77. Pigneta Clara take the win on the Vintelighten track. Pigneta Clara secure first place in front of a surprise second Lambaca brothers, also from Italy. The Austrians Brugla Angera drop back to sixth place in the second run and have to defer to the teams from Russia and Italy. The secret winners of this World Cup are the rookies, however, on this natural track, Lambaca and Lambaca in second place. And with their first win of the season, Pigneta Clara make it an Italian double victory. Yeah, we're really happy with the race today. We really did a great job. It wasn't easy on this track as we hadn't trained on it that much. But it didn't matter. We beat the track record twice. That's why we're ahead of our teammates, our new teammates, who really showed off today. Yeah, I can't really describe our feelings. We didn't expect it, but it worked well yesterday in practice and we tried to give everything again today. Turned out great. 
The decision in the doubles has been made, but who will take the win in the women's singles? The Italians Evelyn Lantala and Greta Pingera, as well as the Austrian Tina Unterberger, are the favorites. Greta Pingera from Italy is in first place after the first run, followed by Lantala and Unterberger, as well as Diepold. Russian Ekaterina Lavrantieva is sixth after the first run with a gap of 1 second 66 to the first place. She'd been better in training when the Russian finished in a strong fourth place in the second training run after ending as seventh in the first test. Lavrantieva was fifth at Kutai and now has to bring an extraordinary run down if she wants to have a podium spot here in Winterleiten. She is riding well, holding her position after the first split times. The Russian is on course and even able to improve her performance compared to her first run. She manages to maintain her speed through this winding track. In the end, she is first, improving by 17 hundredths compared to the first run. Will this lead be enough to enter the podium spots? Next up is Germany's Lisa Wolch. She was able to tease the world's best with a seventh and a fourth place in the training runs. She got along well with the final part of the track where she was able to be faster than the competition, but in the second run, the fifth in the overall World Cup ranking did not start well. She's missing a little bit of speed before she enters the first turn, and this of course has consequences down the track. In the upper part, Volk was slower than the Russian Lavrantieva, but in the lower section, Volk is catching up. She manages to take up some speed in the straight and even accelerate there. This is an exciting show. At the finish line, Lisa Volk defends her position. She's going to be at least fifth for sure. What will Michelle Diepold's answer to this run be? The number two of the Austrian team showed a mixed performance in training. Winterleiten is not her favorite track. She is sixth in the overall World Cup ranking and enters the final run in fourth place with a gap of one second, 27 hundredths to the first place. Her main goal is to defend her fourth place and maybe attack the top three women. And she succeeds very well on the large parts of the track. Despite the challenging course with its bumps, Diepold rides down without any major mistakes, keeping it smooth. Maybe this will even be enough to get a podium spot. Who knows if the competition will hold their nerves. Diepold is now nearly down to the finish line, but then she makes a small mistake. This will take time off. Lots of time, in fact. Diepold finishes only in third. Fully focused, Tina Unterberger hasn't noticed her teammate's mistake up at the start gate. The Austrian enters the final run in third, and she tries to attack the Italians. Last year, Unterberger was the only rider who was able to compromise the Italians' dominance. At Kutai, she finished third. Unterberger also took third place in both training runs here, as well as in the first competition run. Despite the fact that the Austrian is testing new material at this event, she's been very consistent. Experienced athlete who can cope with this, she starts from the top without any problems, though she loses a little bit of time, but this is symptomatic for her as she is a lightweight. In spite of a slow start, Unterberger keeps first place through all the split times. Her run is very controlled and consequently, she crosses the finish line in first. That means a third place for Tina Unterberger at the very worst. She is the outstanding rider of the last season and also winner of the first race at Kutai, the Italian Evelyn Lantaller. In the training, the reigning overall World Cup winner showed two perfect runs. She was the only female loser to remain under 1 minute 13 seconds. That's why she has been the clear favorite, but her teammate Greta Pingera surprisingly defeated her in the first run of the finals. Lantaller stays cool though in this second run and follows the racing line. No mistakes, no wobbles. The Italian takes every turn in a perfect way. A look at their split time reveals that she is outclassing the competition. She's even on course to set a new track record. Will she take it to the finish? Yes, 
That's insane. One minute, 12 seconds and 14 hundredths. A new track record on the Vintelighten for Lantala. This is going to be a difficult task for Greta Pengera. She was Lantala's fiercest competitor last year and is also a co-favorite for the overall World Cup this season. She had to admit defeat at Kutai, but now she has the chance to clinch her first World Cup victory since Deutschnoff in 2018. Considering Lantala's time, this will be a tough task. She is only leading by 53 hundredths after the first run. At the top, Pingara can maintain her lead in the first split time, but it is melting away in the middle section. And at the second split time, Pingara is lagging behind. It will be almost impossible to catch up again. Pengera's run is almost error-free, but it's not enough to beat Lantaler. With a time of 1 minute 13.18 in the second run, the Italian has to admit defeat to her a compatriot once again. The results after the final run for the women, Austrian Tina Unterberger in third place behind Italians Pengera and Lantaler. She is the shining winner and new track record holder on Winterleiten. Evelyn Lantaler as the fastest woman of the winter so far, and she can hardly believe her luck. Yeah, I have to admit, I'm overjoyed. In the first run, too many mistakes crept in, but I knew I could be fast. I really pulled myself together in the second run and put everything into it. And yeah, I just did a great run and I'm delighted. Yeah, I didn't quite understand what happened there. I actually did two solid runs. Evelyn had an awesome time in the second run, and I don't think I was able to keep up with her. My performance here today was actually really bad, and I'm quite glad that it was still enough to reach a podium spot. As expected, the two Italian girls were both really strong today. We're trying to follow suit, but we're just in the process of changing the material. Maybe you noticed this. We had some problems, but the direction seems to be right, so I'm very satisfied, actually. This winter, the competition between the male losers is fierce. The athletes were only separated by a blink of an eye during the training runs. That's why we expect an exciting head-to-head -head race in the finals. The upset after the first run, Alex Gruber, the winner from Kutai, is only in fourth place behind Scheichel, Pignator and Kamalander. Yesterday, Florian Clara and his partner, Patrick Pignator, were able to reach the top of the podium in the doubles. In the singles, however, Clara enters the final only in sixth place, one second 1600s behind the top athletes. So what's in it for the Italian? Last year, he only finished in fourth place at the European Championships at Mitteleiten. At the World Cup in Kutai, he got sixth. Clara had problems at the start in the training runs and in the first competition run. He didn't get away well and was slower than his competition in the upper section of the track. He managed to catch up in the lower part in the first run though, but cannot repeat this performance in the second run. With a consistent run, Clara reaches the finish line in a total time of 2.24 and a tenth. This is not enough to attack the top guys. Next athlete at the start is the Austrian Florian Glatzel. He is the sixth overall in the 2018 World Cup and surprised with a strong third place in the opening race in Kutai. What's in it for him today? This track is not easy. It's very fast, but also very rough in parts. Glatzel had problems at the start in the training runs, but it's gotten better and better with the track with every run. In the first run, Glatzel didn't start well, but he showed a convincing performance on track. In the second run, he had a solid start, but the Austrian has problems in the second sector and is losing time. It will be difficult for him to catch up now as the track is so demanding. He crosses the finish line in a total time of 2.22.88. This means he will be at the very worst fifth in the end. The reigning world champion Alex Gruber is starting from fourth place in the final run. Gruber already celebrated his first victory of the season in Kutai. In the training runs, the Italian also got along well with the Winterleiten track. 
Despite bad starting times, Gruber was able to hold his own as second behind Kammerlander in both training runs. The start is not his strength on this track, but in the later sections, Gruber did everything right. After the first run, Gruber is 61 hundredths behind Kammerlander. Can he attack the leader? Will he be fast enough? His start into the second run isn't perfect either, but on track, Gruber is almost flawless as he rides a very good race line. Obviously, he's found the right recipe for this Vintelighten track. He improves his performance compared to the first run. With a total time of 2.22.83, he stays ahead of Florian Glatzel. He is the local hero, Mikhail Scheichel. Vintelighten is his home track of the man from Styria, who had no luck here at the European Championships in 2018, only finishing sixth. He's doing better today though. Scheichel showed two good and consistent training runs and in the first competition run, he reached a convincing third place. But will he be able to defend Gruber's attack? In the first run, Scheichel had the second best start time of the field. In the second run, Scheichel again delivers a good start and shows a solid ride on the Vintelighten course. And of course, he knows this track with all its pitfalls very well. The split time, Scheichel loses time on Gruber though. Will he be able to catch up to Gruber again in the lower part? No, in the end, Scheichel finishes with a total time of 2.22.88, and that will be very tight for the Austrian to reach a podium spot. What is Patrick Pignata going to do in this second run? He already has the doubles victory together with his partner, Florian Clara. Will he also be able to top the podium in the singles today? In the training runs, the Italian had a hard time on the Vintelighten track, finishing only fourth and fifth, but in the first competition run, he got everything out of his luge. His strength lays mainly on the track. After a solid but not outstanding start, Pignetta performed well during the race. He was only 100th behind Kamalanda at the finish. In the second run, everything is in for a record luge. He gets on track well at the start and is fully on course in the first split times. But then he loses concentration and this costs him. He's now only third. With a time of 2.23.07, he isn't looking good for a podium finish. The last to start is the leader after the first round, the Austrian Thomas Kammerlander, the overall World Cup winner in 2018 and the European champion in 2018 on the Winterleiten. He's also the one who holds the track record here with 1 minute 12 seconds and also the first two training runs of this World Cup event. He set the benchmark for everybody. He broke the track record in his first training run and even improved on it in the second one. 1 minute 10 seconds and 83. And he brings down his final run just as confidently. Starts even faster than in the first. He's actually showing an ice cold performance here. Top times in almost all the sections for the Austrian. He's not quite as fast as in the first run, but that will do for Kamalander. With a total time of 2.22.01, the Austrian wins the second World Cup of the season. After an exciting race, Alex Gruber keeps his second place on the Winterleiten track. He is only defeated by the Austrian Thomas Kamalander. Third place goes to his teammate, Michael Scheichel. Here they are, the new overall World Cup leaders, Thomas Kammerlander and Alex Gruber. After the second race, they are in the pole position in the overall standings. In the beginning, I gotta admit, I never got along with this track. I never liked losing here. But in the last two years, it's worked out perfectly. It really looks like a new love is emerging. It was a perfect weekend for me in the first training run. I adjusted the material perfectly right from the start, and that was, of course, the key to success.
I tried some different material again and a different line in the second run. I changed everything a bit, but I didn't really believe that I could climb from fourth to second. That's why I'm really glad now, especially after my bad first run. I'm actually quite happy with the second place now. It looks quite good for the overall World Cup. It's exciting. Everything fits well, actually. My eyes were... It really went down to the wire in the end. I had finished third in the first run, and when I crossed the finish line, I was 500s back. I thought I'd have to be content with fourth place again. You can see how tight it is at the front. A small mistake by Patrick Pigneta, and he falls back to fourth place, while I kept third place. The competition in the men's is definitely extreme this year. Anything can happen, as you can tell from the tension at the start. It's so quiet you could hear a pin drop. It's actually really cool when your plan works out. Excitement is always guaranteed on the natural track. Next, the athletes will be competing in Moscow. Who will be the fastest loser on the Russian track? It's getting interesting, so make sure you tune in and find out.